For 25 years, Remiza Gurdic has hunted for the remains of her slain husband and two sons. They were victims of the worst mass killing in Europe since World War II, a genocide in 1995 known as the Srebrenica Massacre. Gurdic has never forgotten the last words she heard from her 20-year-old son, Mustafa. <laughs> They were among more than 8,000 Muslim men and boys rounded up and killed by Bosnian Serb forces in July 1995. The massacre came amid the Bosnian War, one of several violent conflicts that erupted as Yugoslavia disintegrated in the 1990s. Led by General Ratko Mladic, Bosnian Serb troops had overrun a UN safe zone in Srebrenica, where tens of thousands had sought refuge. Women and children were separated from the men. Gurdic says she and her daughter were put on a bus to the town of Kladanj. Over the next quarter century, Gurdic would travel through the Srebrenica region, hunting for clues about the fate of her husband and sons. Through DNA testing, Mustafa's remains were identified in a mass grave in the village of Branjevo. Investigators for a war crimes tribunal in The Hague determined that around 1,200 Bosniak males had been shot dead there. So on 17 July, it's the finalization, in fact, of the burial process. And here we have a picture, the only aerial imagery on which we can see uh, bodies. Ramiza Gurdic testified in the 1996 war crimes trial of a Bosnian Serb soldier who took part in the Branjevo executions. Dražen Erdemovic pleaded guilty and gave this chilling account. <laughs> A UN court ruled in 14 cases that the massacre was an act of genocide. Ramiza Gurdic discovered that her husband, Yunus, had been seen by neighbors before he was killed. In the village of Kravice, Gurdic's husband was among some 1,500 Bosniaks slaughtered at an agricultural warehouse. Gurdic says her younger son, 18-year-old Merudin, was found among the mass graves in the Chanchari Valley. Many bodies had been moved to that location months after the killings, some torn apart and buried separately in an attempt to cover up the atrocity. To further hide the scale of the atrocity, Bosnian Serb troops moved the victims' bodies to hundreds of locations. In all, Gurdic lost more than 30 relatives in the genocide. Their remains, including those of her husband and sons, now rest at the Srebrenica Potocari Genocide Memorial Site. 
Nije to što ga moram kopati, ali što ga ja kopam brez glavi, brez ruku i samo pola. More than a dozen Bosnian Serb political and military officials have been convicted for the Srebrenica massacre by the International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia, including General Mladic. Be held accountable. He was found guilty of genocide, war crimes, and crimes against humanity in 2017 and is serving a life sentence in prison, though his appeal is still pending. But for Gurdic, justice can never be fully served. Gurdic still hopes to find the rest of Merudin's remains. 25 years after the Srebrenica massacre, her journey for justice and answers continues. <laughs>